our TV show is finding the best visual images to help tell a story. But for this next segment, we are going to be what we like to call picture poor because this is one where we will intentionally use very few images because this segment is about teenagers sending each other naked pictures, you know, sexting. In North Carolina right now, a 17-year-old boy, he's a high school kid, and he plays quarterback for the school's football team. Well, he's facing felony charges because he and his girlfriend exchanged nude photos of themselves. They were both 16 at the time, and as far as we currently know, there's nothing to suggest that the photos were sent or received without consent. But this case has highlighted the bizarre way that laws meant to protect our children sometimes lead to getting them into trouble. Under North Carolina law, 16-year-olds are considered adults when charged with a crime. But in North Carolina, you are still considered a child until you turn 18 when it comes to sending and receiving sexually explicit messages. So legally too young to be allowed to send a naked picture of yourself but old enough to be charged as an adult for doing so after the student's school found out about the charges the boy was suspended from his high school football team and he's charged with two counts of second degree sexual exploitation of a minor and three counts of third degree sexual exploitation of a minor and he could face up to 10 years in jail and the possibility of having to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life his girlfriend faced similar charges but took a plea deal to avoid felony charges and receive probation. Joining me now are Seema, Seema Iyer, host of The Docket on Shift by MSNBC. Seema's a former prosecutor and a criminal defense attorney here in New York City. Next to her, Dino Badaya, columnist for The Daily Beast as well as host of Sirius XM's The Dino Badaya Show. And in his past life, Dino was also a practicing attorney. And also with us, Anoush Zomorodi, who is host of WNYC's Note to Self, a show about the impact of technology on our lives. So nice to have you all here. <laughs> How? Let's talk about the law. Let's talk about That's what I mean, the law. Just straight up about the law here. Basically, reproducing any picture of a minor is against the law. That's the easy Even way if the minor is you. That is correct. And Melissa, let me just tell you this, because Manoush, you found this so surprising yeah. that as a defense attorney, usually I get a packet of information, police reports, yep. discovery, right? The, the prosecution can't give me oh, the evidence, the pictures. Instead, I am subjected to sitting in a room with a police officer looking at child porn on a laptop. Okay, that's the law. I gotta say, I, look, I get why we want to be aggressive legally on the question of the exploitation, the sexual exploitation of minors. I mean, no one, no one thinks that's a bad idea. Except that this is clearly not protecting children. This is criminal. Yeah, I mean, this is, consent matters, right? Of course, this is crazy. In this state, in North Carolina, 16-year-olds, they can have sex with each other legally. But if they take a picture of their body afterwards and send it to each other, it's a felony. This is ludicrous, the idea. You're supposed to, and I understand, we're protecting against I, I, pornography. Absolutely. That's so absolutely true. But now you're having a child, 16-year-old, with a felony. And he might get a felony conviction at 17 years old. Now he's yeah. 17. This would ruin his life. But very you would also have that picture lingering in the cloud available for other people to see. So. Okay, okay, granted. Granted, I hear you. And, 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 but I guess there's, there's got to come a moment when our law meets with our technology in some kind of way that makes sense, yeah. right? And so in, in a new world where people are selfing themselves, like it, it just is something different to say this is how I want to present myself to the world. Maybe I'm even using bad judgment to do so, but bad judgment in kids is, that's, that well. comes with the territory. Yes. <laughs> bad judgment is not illegal, right? No. I mean, and if you look at what's happening with kids, 90% of them text each other all day long the average t teenager 118 texts a day oh, and is anyone studying <laughs> is anyone going to class one out of five of them have sent or received a sext so what we're talking about is 20 percent of teenagers this is going on and throwing the law at it how about some sex ed well actually? right and i was going to say in a certain way let me just suggest we might i mean you want to talk about safe sex i mean safe sex from a viewpoint of stis and pregnancy if you are sending <laughs> pictures you you are pretty unlikely that you will become pregnant from that or that you will get an, an, a, a sexually transmitted infection from it. No, but it might not be safe in the reputational concern yes. piece, right? 
Well, lots of different things. I mean, the idea, if you were in a relationship with someone and they share this picture and you're 16, right. and then you break up, and then the revenge type of thing where you're posting exactly. the picture. Exactly. That's a big problem. And that's, the, that's, to me, the only... But that happens to people of all age. To make it a crime, mm -hmm. like this, a felony, to yep. mean... But you could extreme. say that sexting is the gateway drug. Oh, what sexting. Is that? Come on. Yeah, we, we, what? What is <laughs> not having sex? Under so what are you having sex these no, two? No, you don't know that they are. Right. They are, but maybe... Well, other people well, let me also, let me also saying, back up, though. Okay, because, because you brought up the sexually transmitted... Disease. Yes, right, 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 right. So, I mean, you know, I think that, that like... Being an adolescent is probably the gateway drug. I mean, like, our, our human hormones are the gateway drug of sex. Like, that sort of happens over time. But the idea of criminalizing these sets of acts, I guess part of what I'm wondering, Sim, is where the prosecutorial decision-making and judgment okay, that's comes in here versus, like, oh, it's against the law, therefore I have to put a kid in jail for a decade. Right, which is why the girl got what's called a, a repleter, and that's going through probation and then having the ability for the felony to be expunged. And what I'm imagining just from reading it yeah. is that, that she would have no record after mm -hmm. that. I don't think this boy should be a registered sex offender. I don't think half of my clients should be registered mm -hmm. sex offenders. So certainly that's going beyond the scope. Well, well, with prosecutorial discretion, I think what Melissa is getting at, I mean, why would a prosecutor even take this case against... Uh, yeah, that's uh, what I don't understand. Are you trying to use her as an example? Right, right, the I'm policy wondering. of the law is to prevent child pornography. Not to, but it's so not the mean, policy, it's the statute. They have to follow the statute. All right, stick with us, because up next, we're going to talk about keeping the sexting secret and how technology can help.